Hi crafters, it's Karen and I have a completed project to share today. I altered one of those balsa boxes that you can find at Hobby Lobby. Uh, I believe it's the medium sized one and I did it in a shabby beachy type style but I used a lot of mixed media techniques along the way. So uh, these are the stencils that I used throughout my project. This is the mini art is stencil with all the script on there. This is the mini seashell stencil and I love this stencil. Tina had sent this to me. Thank you so much Tina and I just I just love this stencil. Awesome. And then some of the random stamps that I used um, are these dollar stamps from Joann's like from last year. This is starfish, conch shell, and uh, uh, sand dollar. <coughs> Excuse me. And the paper collection that I used is this uh, 12 by 12 beach house paper from the paper studios uh, that you can find at Hobby Lobby. This is gorgeous paper. The the um, soft turquoise and mint and distressed tones just make this a really gorgeous paper. So I used this paper stack and I didn't actually cover the box. What I did was um, I tore strips from different sheets and decoupaged them on my box. I'll show you. So this is the box. Whoops. So this is the box. I'll give you an overview and then I'll explain my details. This of course is the top. Um, in the front and the sides. In the back. And then the bottom I just left, but I did add a f add feet. So, um, like I said, these balsa boxes are pretty tricky to cover with paper because, the, because of the curves in the box and everything. So what I did was I took like two or three sh um, sheets of paper along with some vintage book paper. <coughs> Excuse me. And tore strips and continued to like decoupage it across across the uh, box so you know like um, strips here and I went all the way around the top of the box through to the back and then I did each side individually um, like you can see some of the book paper here, <clears throat> excuse me, here, and some of the other um, uh, stamping and and the stenciling that I did. So uh, I painted the box with gesso, then decoupaged all my strips all over the box in a random manner. <clears throat> excuse me, then I went over it that with a light um, coat of gesso, very light, just to um, you know, dull down a little bit, I guess, or mute the colors of the paper a little bit. And then I started um, doing some stamping using the stamps that I shared and my stays on ink. And then I used uh, my stencils along with my modeling paste. And I used some of this white texture cream from Martha Stewart. This is a lot of fun to use. I love the texture that it brings. <clears throat> I also use this modeling cream from uh, Viva Color. And this tube uh, brings a really sweet pearl finish. It, it, and it is a lot like a cream. So I mean you can use this with your stencils or you could paint this along a pro uh, project or an element or a flower. It's just really sweet. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then uh, so and as you can see you know some of the um, stencil work there. Here are the pebbles from that one stencil. Really cute. I love this. 
I love this particular image. Um, of course, I lost a lot of the details that I added on the front because I, um, you know, decorated the top of the box. And uh, I also used my Bobani chicken wire um, stamp. And these stitches that you see randomly, those are all basic gray rub-ons. I hope you can you can see some of the detail because um, it's it's so bright already this morning and it's hard for me to see through my viewfinder but um, as you can see right here this texture here I used some of the Martha Stewart texture stuff that I just showed you and then I went over it with the modeling cream and it gave that texture a pearlescent look to it very sweet so uh, after I did my stamping and and adding the rub-ons and the different <clears throat> masks and the different Lindy Stamp Gang sprays that I used, which are mostly from the, uh, I believe it's the Nantucket collection, you know, with the Cape Cod Coral and, <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, Whale Watch Blue and, you know, those colors. I uh, started to decorate the top. I added, which you can't see, but it's a piece of a burlap in that peach tone that I found at Michael's, and I cut it to size, and then I trimmed it out with this particular trim from Hobby Lobby, you know, kind of framed it out, and then I started decorating within, you know, within and around that particular frame. So. I added a doily over here from Julie, the paper bag lady's shop. Over here is a Tim Holtz, um, is a tattered clock, I think. I cut it out of chipboard and then covered it with that modeling cream that I just shared with you and went over it a little bit with my Inca Gold. Um, underneath is some of this uh, creepy cloth that you know, it was around on Halloween from the Dollar Tree. And I sprayed it with my different white sprays to try to um, make the color lighter. That's as light as I got. But I thought it, it looked really cool as like a beach netting. I also put some up here. Um, the key here uh, is from my stash and I just painted it with white gesso. There is um, different ephemera, like these little cardstock seashells and whatnot throughout, and those are from Kane Company. Uh, this is a, a flower from my stash, and I had sprayed it and distressed the color so that it looked very similar to this with my different sprays. But then, of course, I went over everything with a gesso and then the scintillating silver and everything, and this was my end result. <laughs> I also cut out some gears from the Tim Holtz um, Sizzix die, and I treated them the same way I did the clock, um, with the modeling cream and the Martha Stewart texture stuff. And you could see I I randomly spread some of the texture stuff throughout throughout the project, and some of my sprays got caught up in the stenciling, which I think is very cool. So anyway, um, these two flowers here are from Prima. I added a, a starfish here. This is a Craft Supplies One flower. This is this is a Prima Prima flowers here, and these are from I Am Roses, and the other smaller ones are from Recollections. I stuck a little. Let's see if you even seeing this. I stuck a little seashell here, a Tim Holtz. Uh, compass, metal compass piece there. This postcard here, the postcard here and the image here are from the Boardwalk Collection by Graphic 45 and I just went over them with a little bit of gesso and that modeling cream to try to mute those bright colors and um, make them shimmer. Then I took some of this pearl trim that uh, from Hobby Lobby and I kind of draped it down and around 
<clears throat> and, you know, quite randomly, there's some of the um, effects that I got in the back of the box. I just love the texture um, that the different mediums brought. Very, very cool and a lot of fun to play with. Um, sorry, I hope I'm not making you crazy by handling this too much. It's hard to see what you can see through, through the lens because it's so bright. Uh, uh, there's a little brad here. It says beautiful. Um, there's a little charm here that Vicki Lee had sent me, a little seashell charm, and I went over with Jesso and just adhered it and layered it there. So I, I felt like the top of the box just looked like the different things that one might have accumulated while on a beach vacation. You know, the starfish and the seashells and the pearls. You know, maybe an old key or an old uh, compass piece. So that was my thought. So then for the closure here, I adhered this trim from Hobby Lobby on the underside, and I'll show that in a minute. And then over here is this burlap trim from Hobby Lobby. And I thought those two worked really well together. I thought they were a really sweet contrast. And then this is the inside of the box. Like I said, I went over it with gesso. Whoops. I went over it with um, a coat of gesso, and then these clocks are from a Recollections paper um, from Hobby Lobby, and I just fussy cut the clocks out. There's the bottom. And this is exactly how I decoupage the top, you know, randomly with the, with the book paper and the papers from the collection. And that the stamping there is from a Recollection stamp. Because I didn't want to, you know, completely cover the inside of the box or cover the under lid. <clears throat> so, I thought this was really sweet to add the clocks. I created this flower a while back. I'm glad to finally be using it. This shimmer here is some um, gloss medium. And I just used a stencil and applied it there just to see what kind of effect it brought. Because I wasn't familiar with that. With that. And then I used this Hobby Lobby lace, um, it's like a stretchy lace, uh, for my closure. And I, I want to replace that knob, I just haven't done it because I can't get that knob off. But So there's the um, textures on this side of the box. I thought it came out really sweet. And then I added uh, bingo markers as the feet. So I've, I'm really pleased with it, and it was a lot of fun. And I'm thinking about um, creating a mini album with that paper, one that will fit within this box. So we'll see. <laughs> so that's my project. Thanks so much for watching, and um, I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.